you how to make a face blink and its mouth move. So what I have done so far, I'm going to back up here, I'm going to undo a couple of things, is I have drawn a circle. Okay, on my timeline here, I'm going to go to frame 100, I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a keyframe so that I essentially have 100 frames of just a, a plain old circle. Okay, we're not going to focus, no, it's, it's, it's working, pretty sure, yeah? I don't know, is it working? Uh, Let's see, is it working? Yeah, okay. So all we have is 100 frames of a boring circle, and we're not focusing on this being artistically brilliant right now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a layer above the one that's there. I'm going to go to that first frame. I'm going to draw two circular eyes, just like this. One, two. So I have two eyes on layer two. So I can see which layer is which just by doing that. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this layer is every now and then we want the eyes to blink. So I'm going to just jog along. I'm going to say, okay, at frame 30, we're going to insert a clear keyframe. Now, what a clear keyframe does is it erases what's already there. So if I right click and say, oh, sorry, a blank keyframe, not a clear keyframe. So then, so we have some eyes, then we have nothing. And then we have nothing right to the end. So then I'm going to go to frame 35, and I'm going to insert a new keyframe. Sometimes you guys were using blank keyframes. Instead of keyframes, it was causing you problems, you might recall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go scrub. I've scrubbed back to frame 1 here, OK? there's So I've got eyes, frame 30, nothing, frame 35, nothing. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to choose these eyes, just like this. I'm going to hold Shift, so I click them with a the black arrow. My black arrow up here, click and click. I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to go here to frame 35. We want the eyes to go from disappeared to reappeared here on frame 35. I'm going to do this edit. And I could just say paste, but I want to paste in place, which means it pastes back to the same spot where it disappeared from before, like this. Okay? So here's what I have so far it'll look like really crude blinking. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so very crude blinking. So then I need to decide, okay, so what do I want it to look like in between? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something again. Back here on frame 30, I'm going to say edit, paste in place again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale these to look more squinty. Okay. And that's it. Now I'll go back. Check it out. Control. Test scene. It looks like it's blinking, right? My drawing's not very good, but just by adding that tiny thing, it adds personality. The next time you watch a cartoon, I want you to notice how little they animate. The more animation there is in a cartoon, the more money it costs because you have to pay someone to do it. So what they do sometimes is they have a mouth flapping away, uh, maybe some blinking happening as two characters interact. So some dialogue happens, the, the, the mouth matches the, the, the words that are happening, and then they might have the person sort of blink a few times in between. So check that out next time you watch a cartoon. Let's do a mouth. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Mouths can be a little harder. You want to do, it's essentially the same kind of thing. So I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to add another layer. So that was my eyes layer. It's probably good practice to name your layers. You could just double click them and give them names so that later on when you're like, which layer is this? You can just read, oh, it's the eyes layer. So I'm going to add another layer ahead uh, uh, above my eyes here with this piece of paper. We're going to call this one mouth. Mouth. Okay. You could have a tongue sticker. You could. Why not? I don't know if I'll be able to draw uh, in a quick manner. You could just draw so I'm going to use my pencil tool for this one. And what are some shapes your mouth makes when you talk? You can look at my mouth moving right now. Okay, so we've got a, an open. Oh, we've got an O. Oh. We've got like a. We've got. You could have a tongue sticking out. My tongue doesn't stick out as much as yours does when I talk, though. Ha! Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a straight mouth. Looks kind of ugly. I know. I'm going to have. I'm going to go to frame five. 
I'm going to do a blank keyframe. Uh, I'm going to go back to frame one. I'm going to copy that mouth back to frame five, paste it back in, and then I'm going to change it a little bit. So I'm going to say, let's do from big to small, and I'll throw in a little bit of, uh, I don't know, one of these. Okay. And then what I can do, this is a bit, I don't know if it's going to work, so give me a second. It's been a little while since I tried it. Yep, let's do another keyframe here, and another blank keyframe, rather. And I'll paste in, whoops, paste in place. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to select this frame here. I'm going to select this frame here. I'm just kind of randomly choosing. I'm going to say edit copy. Then I'm going to click, I don't know, here, paste. Uh, Oh, didn't work. Okay. Control V. No, it's not working. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to choose here, here. Try one more time. Not working, so I'm going to give up. All right. So then what I'm going to do is choose this one here. Copy. Click here. Blank keyframe. Paste. In place. And then another bank. And basically, we can switch back and forth. Maybe I'll do uh, I'll do the straight mouth again. Copy, blank keyframe, insert blank keyframe, uh, paste that one. Oops, in place. Edit paste in place. And now we'll make it sort of a more of an ooh uh, an ooh shape. Now I'll get my pencil, and we'll do one of these. Okay. And then we'll go back to my straight mouth, copy, and it's just a matter of inserting blank keyframes, insert blank keyframe, paste, in place, and then insert blank keyframe, oh, he's blinking now, but he's still talking, insert blank keyframe, oh, sorry, doing it wrong. Insert blank keyframe. And let's put this mouth back in. And because I'm lazy, I'm going to do only one more. So again, I'm going to right click, insert blank keyframe, and I'm going to get the straight mouth, copy, click here, edit, paste, in place. And here's the movie. It's going to be not very good, but you get the idea. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm not sure I deserved any clapping, but I'll take it. Okay. So all of a sudden, I've very I've created a very crude face that is talking. There's a little more that we will do when we get around to making our cartoon. We're going to try and, to some extent, sync some of the speaking up with the, uh, with the. Um, what I'm talking about. So if you look back here, you can see it's the same exact sort of thing I've done here. So you can see we go to a smile. I've even moved the wrinkles in the face because that's what would happen. And I don't know if you can tell from where you are, but there's a little, the eye squints as it smiles and a smiley line comes in and then the talking starts. So it just basically swaps back and forth to create a talking face. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps.